Hello everyone. In the previous video, we submitted our form to the web browser and now the time is to send our form to the database. So I made a simple change. I name it to uh, name to title and to email and password. So I made this for the post. So this is a title field. This is a description and there is a two select box and I assign name them is published so we can get their value this option value in the server right so i added this two and uh, there is totally four fields it is there i did not change anything it's same it's a post and it's uh, going to this post url and uh, the type is submit so let's go here and uh, make a title here it's a php post name is uh, php is uh, something stuff like that and you can choose a status here choose no and uh, yes so let's click on submit uh, and yes it's submitting this token title description uh, is published and is status so it means that we are successfully sending our values to the web browser so now the time is to send them into the database so let's uh, we are uh, we want to send this in the post table which is uh, this one right for now it's uh, empty so let's go here and uh, type here model post and it's a post and tell us that it's in uh, located inside apps like model slash post so hit enter and uh, it's uh, automatically added its namespace yes it's a uh, use app slash post so if uh, it's not added automatically you can add this by like this app slash uh, app slash model stuff like that right and uh, let's go to this post and here there is a two way the first one is uh, you can pass a uh, whole parameters here so in the post model there is a helper function which is create so it's used for creating uh, our record in the database you don't need to manually type here that uh, insert into blah 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 so there is a create helper it will create the record right and here you need to pass a parameter that which you want to create so i want to create a request and request all so it means that we are getting all the fields from the form and i want to create them in the database so after this i want to make this uh, success return this success after submitting this right so let's go here and uh, send this field again so it's a php post its description is php is uh, away some and uh, let me choose some status and stuff like that and submit and it says add token to fillable property allow mass assignments why it's why this error is there so it means that we need to allow our model to fill uh, our database table so this is the security of laravel so let's go to the we are sending our request to the uh, post table and uh, we are interacting with this post model so we need to uh, turn on the most environment in our post model right so let's go here and go to this post model and how you can turn on your mass assignment so it's a protected property you need to override it it's uh, you need to define it here fill able right uh, you need to uh, add a dollar sign it's a variable fillable and then you need to type your database values right i want to uh, make this title i want to enter title into the database so let's uh, enter title here i want to add description in the database so you need to define the description here and you need to pass all the columns of the database so then your data will be added in the table right so this is a created ad and updated ad when we create a record it will automatically added so this is a user id right so for now we don't have any id so let me make this oops make this uh, for user id save this one 
okay and go to the post controller we are uh, requesting this all uh, let's give it a refresh and send and yes now it's throwing the sql error general error 31 user id does not have a default value why it's there because we have a user id in our table and we are not passing any value to, to this uh, user id that's why it's uh, this throwing this error that you can't to uh, blank this value you need to fill this right so let's go here and uh, uh, add a hidden field here so it's uh, let me make this hidden and it should be uh, user id and value should be one save this one and uh, we need to make it uh, uh, go back because uh, our our this input will be reload uh, will be loaded so let's go here submit this again and it's again says invalidate for me to choose status for column hmm. so it means that we are uh, accepting here uh, integer value let's go here and click on structure and uh, we are passing this uh, uh, integer here and this should be also integer right but we are getting um, a string from there so let me put there one uh, let me go there go back I caught this error why its error is there so it means that we have incorrect to integer value so what is the uh, incorrect so it's throwing this is publish so let's go here and uh, watch it uh, this so we selected this and uh, our disable spelling is incorrect so that's why it's appending uh, this one and this one also so that is uh, our mistake let's go here and, uh, and then save them and uh, give it a refresh and it's not uh, accepting this let me uh, check it oh we need to give it a refresh right and uh, let's fill it form again submit it and yes now it's returning success it means that our record is added in the database so let's go here and uh, yes our data is there so it's uh, this one this this and this so let's go back and create new laravel post okay laravel uh, laravel is very cool laravel is very cool okay and uh, save yes so uh, yes submit and yes now it's running success so go here and our data is there so it means that we are successfully added our record using this model right this is a post we don't need to write any query and uh, this is added uh, our post and then in the next video i will explain that how we can add uh, the column names manually so stay connected for the next video bye bye